Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video about how you can change and improve the weather on your DayZ private community server for Xbox, PlayStation or PC. Um, and the way that we do it is by setting the start date and time on our server. Because with DayZ, with hard coded into the game, as you probably know already, is the fact that um, it's warmer in the summer, it's colder in the winter on Chandras. The nights are uh, shorter in the summer and longer in the winter and colder in the winter and warmer in the summer. And the same goes for the days, so the days are warmer. So we can take advantage of that. So we're going to look at the PlayStation server to start off with. So this is um, the Nitrado web interface. So let's, let's go into the PlayStation server. And what we want to do is scroll down and on the left hand side you're looking for general settings. So we click on that and then we scroll down and we're interested in here, these settings here. Use system time, custom server time and persistent server time. Um, you'll also want your server to restart at least once a day to make this work. Um, my servers are set up to start to restart every 12 hours. So what we do, the first thing we do is we untick use system time. So what the system time means is that uh, the game, the, the server, looks to the computer that it's running on for its time. So this time of year, um, you know, March, the you know, if you're playing on a on a community server or playing on a public server, sorry, it will be March in Chernarus. That that's what it does. So if we untick that, we can say no, no, don't listen to the your computer you're running on. Listen to what I tell you. And then we have the con the custom server time. Now it's a bit confusing how this is um, is written, but basically you've got the hours first so this is 10 o'clock so 10 hundred hours 10 zero zero and then you've got the date backwards first of the 8th 2019 first of august 2019 every time the server starts like groundhog day it goes to 10 o'clock on the 1st of august 2019 and they would untick persistent server time as well so this means that normally what would happen is when the server shuts down it would remember what time it was and then it would go back to that that time of day when it started again. So uh, if the, the server switched itself off at midnight, when it turned back on again, it would be midnight again. However, with my servers, it doesn't. When it switches itself off, it then goes back to 10 o'clock in the morning on the 1st of August 2019, which will be one of the warmer days in the um, Chernarusian calendar is that the way you'd say it something like that um, and you know and so this is kind of a little trick you can't say exactly what's going to happen um, it may well be a rainy day that day it may well be foggy it might may be you know, strangely cold remember as you go to altitude it gets colder as well um, and you, as you go to the northwest of China it gets colder but there we go so that's kind of how you do it on on console now on PC it's a little bit different um, you need to have access to the server dz.config file. And for your particular uh, server provider, you may well have access to that. On Nitrado, they don't give you complete access. You've got to go into your settings and you have to enable expert settings. Once you've done that, you can go into the, the, the server dz.config file. And what you're looking for is here, this line here. So server time is system time. So what that means is on this particular server the server does listen to its local computer and you know sets itself for that so if it's march in the outside worlds it's march in chernarus but what we can do again as it says in the comments to the to the right we can set the server time when it starts to be like that say so, okay that's what i want the format to be and then if you go down to server time persistent you can turn that off so you would set that to zero so again the server wouldn't save what time it was when it was going to turn off and do a restart it would just go back to the, the start time so again you can have it continually starting you know on a nice summer's day in Chernarus or a nice winter's day on the Malsk um, because in all of the Daisy maps um, although I, I haven't come across hard figures for it they all are warmer in the summer, colder in the winter. You know, you know, days are longer in the summer and uh, days are shorter in the winter. You know, it's hard coded into the game. But there we go. That, my friends, is how you do it. Nice and simple. Um, and hopefully it will keep your server players a little bit happier than they were because it might rain a little bit less, which is always a nice thing. Anyway, that's enough from me. What do you think? If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.